Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. This is the first Mercedes-Benz ML500 update we've had. The update came out in late 2008 and was called the MY09 series. And it had a number of additional features. The way you can tell from outside is, is the wheels that had a much newer wheel package and the headlights see yeah, how it's got that extra little bit down there that's how you can tell if it's an update. This particular car has got continental tyres and a very good service history to it. It's metallic black with black leather interior and a wood grain steering wheel. It's basically got everything which the ML63 has except for the engine, the 6.3 litre engine, it's got the 5.4 litre V8, it's got heated seats, air conditioned seats, adjustable suspension, it's got the soft and comfort mode for the suspension as well which is great, it's more important on the <coughs> AMG because it has such stiff suspension and bigger wheels. But it's an absolutely beautiful car, it's got the 7 speed gearbox, and the 5.4 litre V8 is a cracker. It's got so much more power than the old 5 litre and is also very reliable. Surprisingly, the average fuel consumption on something like this is somewhere around 15 litres per 100 k's, which for a V8 is pretty good. When you get it on the open road, you should be seeing figures under 10. It's got keyless entry, keyless start, two remote keys from new, an electric tailgate, a xenon lights. The update also had LED tail lights. It's got a tow bar. And so the service history is impeccable. Cosmetically, the car is in very good condition. It has done a lot of freeway driving, which is good and bad. The good thing about freeway driving is a lot it's done just over 100 and 30,000 kilometres. A lot of those kilometres have been done on the freeway. We'll just get the exact kilometres here, which is 138,000 kilometres. It's got Bluetooth, Harman Kardon sound, it's got the leather dash. I think these are the best wheels, they're, they're big enough without being too big. There's a couple of stone chips on the plastic front bumper bar. It's also got those additional driving lights which can be removed but to me that's not a bad thing I, I quite like it when I see a car which has been driven on the freeway it's got some kilometres to it as opposed to a car which has got 80,000 kilometres or 60,000 kilometres has sat in bumper to bumper traffic its whole life and dropped the kids to school and back and made the the weekly grocery shop down the road where it is where it basically gets all its little dings and bumps and scrapes and it's not good for the engine either. It's got side steps, a sunroof obviously, navigation, Bluetooth, reverse camera. I actually don't think there was any extras. It's even got radar cruise control or distance cruise control, Distronic I believe it's called, by Mercedes-Benz. Every manufacturer has a different name. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I actually can't think of anything which, um, which you could have optioned on this car than what it's got. It's got the perforated leather, because it's got air conditioned and heated seats, push button start, the keyless entry. From what I can see, it's got absolutely everything, and the timber steering wheel. And that's a good thing about getting the 500, you do get all the options. The 500 in the update is pretty rare, I haven't seen very many of them. And uh, obviously there's lots of diesels around which are great. Personally I'd, like, I'd buy a 500 for the sound, the theatre, the performance, and just because I know it's such a, such a good engine. And if driven sensibly, the fuel consumption really isn't all that bad at all. It probably wouldn't be dissimilar to a, an earlier series ML320 petrol. 
But if you've been looking for an ML of any description, please come and have a look at this car. I certainly don't think you're going to be disappointed. I have driven it and it drives beautifully. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are the Old Timer Centre, located in Marrickville, 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.